Good morning. It's hump day. Hump day. I got my um, pharmacy stuff yesterday, so I'm excited to use it. Um, I tried the Aqua skincare line, and I think that one is my favorite. I would say the Aqua one is my first, then the Calendula, and then the Resurface line. But the Resurface line has retinol in it, so you got to be really careful with that. Yeah, so I already got my skincare on, and I'm going to put my hair up. I use this new um, shampoo and conditioner, and I do not like it. It made my hair feel like straw. It was supposed to be a hydrating one, so I don't know why it feels like that. Okay, so I'm going to use the VFX Pro Camera Ready Perfecting Makeup Primer. And it's just clear. Let's see. Oh. It feels very silky and soft. Kind of dimethicone -y. A lot of primers do have dimethicone or silicone in it, which that's not a bad thing. Oh yeah, it feels so soft. It feels like silk. I like that. Ooh, my skin feels so soft. Oh, I love it. Okay, love that. And then, yeah, it's like baby soft, you guys. I like that a lot. And that's the one in the silver tube. They have the a one in a purple tube, too. And I heard that one pairs better with, like, the BB cream. And this one pairs better with the, um, the VFX. Or no, what was it? The, the purple one pairs better with the BB cream and then the other foundation. And then the one in the silver tube pairs better with the VFX Pro concealer and foundation. That's what it was. Okay. So next, I'm going to use the VFX Pro concealer in the shade 03. I forget which um, shade that is. Mark. I kind of squeezed a lot out, but I'm going to use a sponge so it'll soak some of it up anyways. And some people put their concealer on before foundation, some do it after. There's really like no right or wrong way. Sometimes I switch it up and do it after. If you hear a squeaky noise, that's my dryer. It's making a noise. Oh, you know what? I should have tried the the green CC cream today because that one's for redness and my cheeks are always a little bit red right here okay these sponges I got from Sheen and it was like a pack of five for like three bucks or something like that so I'm hoping this is the right shade this is the shade 09 cool beige I do have cool undertones as you can see okay it might be a tab light but that's okay and I always start in the middle and work my way out this is a foundation brush from NYX. I might have to even bump up to the next, next shade. Jeez. I just don't ever 
feel like my skin is that dark. That's okay. It's a tad light. We'll, we can fix that with contour and stuff. So what I'm gonna have to do is like, I'm gonna have to order a couple shades. I'm seeing because like my skin, I go tanning. You guys, oh, and about that self tanner yesterday, I cannot keep it on. I can't. That stuff feels so disgusting to me and like, like sticky. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It feels really gross. And I, I wash it off right away. I tried. I'm like, I don't know how people can keep that on for hours. I don't like the way it feels. Okay. Oh, I should have brought down my hydrating, um, my hydrating setting powder, but. I did link these bracelets too. This is the um, Eternity bangle and then the Panther bracelet and then the belt bangle and these are the Roman numeral ones and they all come in, most of them come in silver and gold and rose gold as well. So I linked those. So I have this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's a dark shade. I was thinking about contouring with it. I've never did that with this before. I don't know like how fast it dries or anything. So let's see, we're, we're gonna experiment. I'm gonna put some right here and see if I can, you know, blend it out. Um. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna skip that because I just, I don't know. And I'm gonna grab my contour stick from L'Oreal. I used this yesterday and I like it a lot. I was watching or listening to this podcast earlier and um which brush do I want? Um, he was talking about like um like people that don't serve you anymore or like you know are holding you back don't want to see you succeed and you know a few years ago like I had a ton of friends I was always on the phone talking and now I have like one person I talk to every day who I know like wants me wants to see me succeed and I want to see her succeed and like we're a lot alike too we are very much alike yeah you know it's just I don't know I've been thinking about that all morning like a lot of people like have motives behind stuff and you got to be able to recognize that and you don't even have to like let the person know you know what I mean just just be able to recognize that I've gotten so good with that and I don't even say anything like I just know what it is and I don't know I guess I just know what it is and I kind of move on from it and do me. But, you know, people have really good intuitions and instincts and especially females, you know, and we usually are like spot on with it. You know, that's just how we're wired. Okay, so I'm going to take Iconic London Palette and just set that. Trying not to get the hair. I do have a new um, mascara.
mascara to try out too. And I was, I opened it yesterday and was kind of playing around with the tube and it's got super hard tight bristles and that's really good for like separating your lashes. So I think it's going to be a good one that I like. Okay. For blush, I'm going to use Cab Cosmetics. I think it's actually pronounced like K-A-B, not Cab, but you know, whatever. Blush brush. This has a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that. So I don't know if I'll do highlighter or not. But this is a really, really pretty one. And I just go right above my contour with it. Yeah, you can definitely see the shimmer in it. It's not really a shimmer. It's like a little bit of a sheen okay I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless um, setting powder and I'm going to set under my eyes with that I'll be trying to keep the videos not like super long because I know it's hard for people to watch long videos or, I mean, at least it is for me. I lose interest pretty quick. A lot of the times, I can only watch a video for five or ten minutes. And then I have to, like, do laundry or run somewhere or do something. And so I'm just, like, rubbing it on there and then working it into the powder puff. My daughter loves the loose powder one of these. Um, she gets a color though. I tried hers and it was super, super uh, light on me. Okay. I linked these two. You guys, I'm telling you, you have to try those. You have to try them. Just kind of brush away the excess. Shoes. And I'm going to use actually this palette from Unique because it goes on my shirt really good. It just It's like a neutral palette. Super easy to use. Oh, this cat gets hair over everything. It's annoying. I do have a new setting spray too. It's from Joyce Benelli. I think she used to be a makeup artist for, um, I don't know, some celebrity, I'm pretty sure. And then she came out with her own line, so that's cool. Okay. I really like the BFX primer. I love the concealer, and I'm so, so picky about concealer, you guys. Like, really picky. And then I love the foundation too. Pharmacy does have another foundation. Um, it's not the VFX Pro. I forget which. I forget what it's called. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, but the one I'm using is their best seller. So a lot of people seem to really love it. But that primer, you guys, yes, I highly recommend that. And then for skincare, depending on what your needs are. So if you need like anti-aging, um, if you want to target fine lines and wrinkles, there's the resurface line and then the age reverses line. The resurface line has retinol in it. So you do have to be careful when using retinol because it can dry your skin out at first. You got to kind of go easy with it and start off slow um 
and I believe the age or the um, resurface line is for ages like 35 and up and and then the age reverses line is 25 and up. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want this brush. I want this brush. Okay, so I'm going to take this darkest shade. That shade was a stew. Now I'm gonna take this dark shade, which is I think fervent, and go pop it right here, in the outer corner. Bring it up slightly. I'm gonna go right in my crease with it and then bring it a little bit above because I have hooded eyes. I linked the gold brushes as well, the dual ended ones, and they do have um, face brushes too, like these, the gold ones, um, <clears throat> that are also dual ended. They're really good, and they're like super cute too. I think that's what I love the most about them is they're really cute. I went to the gym this morning and it was like one degree out. That's what it said on my dashboard. It's so cold here. Okay. I'm going to take this shimmer color, which is so pretty. It looks like a rose gold color to me. That's very much what it looks like. And then I'm going to spray it. I don't like how that's spraying at all. That's going in the trash. And I'm just going to stamp it right here and then blend it out. If you guys are looking to make a little extra money from home and if you'd be willing learn a little bit if you're open to learning new stuff and getting to know you know new people a new community of awesome women I can send you a link and you can check it out but I'm like who doesn't want to make extra money these days like you need to why is this spraying like this that mo oh, I don't know. That thing sucks. It's going in the trash. Okay, Joyce Benelli. Your setting spray is stupid. But yeah. So, it's me and a couple other girls on my team right now. And we have a small team. We started from the bottom up. We don't have any, like uplines or all these other teams to compete against it's like us so that makes it a lot easier and a lot better in my opinion because if you think about it you know when you are competing against <laughs> thousands of other people like on your team or uplines and it just it's too much and it, it makes it really hard so that's why we've 
started our own team from the bottom up and and we don't want to build a huge team either like we don't want thousands of people on our team because then it just kind of gets out of control and you can't like really you know help people how if they need help i mean unless you have assistance or something but we do not okay i'm just taking that first shade of stew i need to pluck my eyebrows these little stray hairs underneath you can see them and i just brought that all the way up to my brow bone Um, 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 um. I'm going to take a little pencil brush and grab a white shimmer and just pop it right here. I love white shimmers because they're very versatile. Like you can use them to highlight your face with, um, just everything and I'm gonna go under my my brow bone my brow bone okay that was a lot I got this like cartoon type of song stuck in my head. I don't even know where it's from or how I got it in my head. But I don't know. Okay. I want to find a super skinny, skinny brush. On this one. Yeah. And then I'm going to take that super dark shade. And I'm gonna go under right here with it. Try not to poke yourself in the eye. I mean, because I've done that a couple times. You guys know I used to think primers were so stupid and like like they were just trying to sell me extra stuff for it. But you have to use a primer and it creates like a barrier in between the makeup and your skin too. You know what I mean? So yeah, primers I found out are definitely a must. Okay, I'm throwing this in the trash. I don't want that. Shit's crap. Shit's crap. Okay. I have like three of those. My other one works fine. I don't know why that one is weird. Okay. So this mascara. You see the wand? You see how it's like super bendy and the bristles are really stiff. Like you, that's what you want to separate your lashes I didn't even do my brows I don't even want to do my brows I don't like doing them I wish I had like naturally good ones and I just didn't have to do them but I don't This is a brand new tube and it's not like, you know how sometimes when you open new mascara and they're just like wet and get everywhere? This isn't. And, oh, okay, I see it. So one side of it has really, really long bristles. And I think that you start at the root with it and then lift it up and that's gonna give you volume and curl 
to your lashes. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see that? How like, they're longer on that side? Oh, I love this mascara. I think there's, it's hard for me to find mascaras I don't like, but the one I really don't like is the L'Oreal Paris one, like Lash, um, I have it down here somewhere, but it's in a gray tube with a silver top and it is, it just doesn't dry out at all. It's so wet and it gets all over and I only got it because it came with this, um, lash serum in it but it's it's not good it's not good at all and have you guys noticed when you your mascara starts to like dry out a little bit it goes on better it looks better I've noticed that I love these pharmacy products. They are like so affordable. And they have something for everybody. But if you guys have ever considered like doing this, now is the time. Like don't wait any longer. And when you become um, a beauty influencer, you get like all these perks. And if you are interested, you should shoot me a message and I can tell you more about it. Um, it's really good perks though. Like really good. Like if you thought the prices of stuff was good now, when you become um, a BI, the prices are way better. this mascara because it looks it looks natural and it makes your um lashes look really good where oh, where okay now I know I got some on my eye I felt it okay right here you guys right here I'm right here. Oh, I was a little bit messy with the lower lashes, but it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I really don't want to do my brows. Like I don't care about these stupid brows. I should just put my serum in and just let it sit all day. That's what I should do. I should. I just don't want to do them. Probably looks funny. So I got this from <laughs> L'Oreal, yeah, L'Oreal Paris Glowing Lip Gloss, and it's called Shade 01 Sunday Fun Day. 
I guess I should have saved this for Sunday, but I thought it was really pretty. And, ooh, it's like glossy. Mmm, it smells like candy. Mmm. It don't taste like it. Smells like candy, but it don't taste like it. Mm. Smells like strawberries. Mm. I wish it tasted like strawberries, but then I could probably like lick it all off. stop kind of like naturalish type of look a little bit you guys I love that foundation I definitely recommend trying that the VFX Pro foundation and if you need help getting color matched or anything you can just send me a message and I will help you okay you guys or if you just want to like look around on the website if you it should say right on the bottom of the screen pharmacy but if it doesn't you can click that link and it will be in that link so yeah but I love it and I highly recommend you guys try it if you want to join our small team of women um, just message me and I will send you links to my team and you can play around on there they got all this training and when you do the training it's like in different sections um it gives you a certificate for each section and i i believe there's seven um but it trains you on like all the products and everything i got all the certificates and it's not hard it's just literally like videos you listen to and there's quizzes at the end with like two or three questions it's so simple it's not like hours and hours of training you have to watch or anything like that it's it's pretty good because I've had like training before where it's literally non-stop and it's a lot you know a lot of people don't really have time for that so video oh, I can't even tell I can't tell well I hope you guys like the foundation I use the primer I use the aqua aqua skin line the VFX primer VFX concealer and then the VFX foundation tomorrow I'll try to remember to use the green CC cream it's for redness and see how that wears under foundation because my cheeks are like always red Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday hump day and I will see you tomorrow.